Without a doubt, one of the most frequently asked questions I get here on my channel is what are the best neighborhoods in Querétaro? And while I love, love, love calling the Centro Historico home, I'd be lying if I didn't admit that I've daydreamed a time or two about moving to... Keep watching to find out. For the best advice about moving to Mexico, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode every Thursday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alex and I moved to Mexico from the US in 2017. I've called Querétaro home ever since. Today for my 50th video, 50 videos on my channel, can you believe it? I am sharing one of my favorite neighborhoods in Querétaro. I usually refer to this part of the city as Jardines, but it's actually four small neighborhoods all clumped together. Jardines de Querétaro, Bosques del Acueducto, San Javier, and Pate. Located just east of the Centro Histórico, this little cluster of neighborhoods is sandwiched between the aqueduct and the river. These neighborhoods have two main streets running through them. The first one here is Juan Caballero y Osillo, and the other is Rodriguez Familiar. Other than that, the majority of streets in this neighborhood are strictly residential, and many of them are named after flowers. In addition to showing you around the neighborhood and sharing some of my favorite spots, I'm going to be introducing you to a few of my friends who live in this part of the city. Because who better to tell you why a neighborhood is great than the people who live there? Get the jean jacket memo. Get the memo, <laughs> I know. I am down at Cooley Cool this morning with my friend Michelle, and we are just chatting about the neighborhood that she has called home for the last three months. For the last three months. And Michelle, what do you love about living down here? What's nice is that I can walk into Centro, I can go to the Mercado in like 15 minutes, I can get into Centro. And it's beautiful because I go up the mirror, where the mirror door is, and I'm there in you know, again 15 minutes. It's not like the modern high rises of Millennial or anything like that. Um, they're not insulated. The streets are really nice to walk down. Um, everybody is lovely when you walk down the street um, and very friendly. I actually had a guy come up to me and say, "Hey, you're new. I'm Rodrigo. Here's my number if you need anything." I, I, I kid you not. It seems that this area of the city, just right outside the center, I think of it as like right down the hill from the center, it's down the hill. is a really good alternative for people who want to be close to the center, but want a little bit quieter mm -hmm. style of life. When we first got here, we stayed in Centro and we have a dog and she's older, so, you know, she's a little particular and the cohetes were going off, and it was really hard for her where, here we're a little bit more insulated. It doesn't mean we don't hear them, but we don't hear them in the same way, and as many. The other part is that you don't even have to go in the center. We have a, a fantastic, down the street here, fantastic fruteria, which, and a femeria. Um, we have our butcher, the kind of sedia. Several different bakeries. Yeah. Oh my God, way too many bakeries. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm always like, it's like I'm a, it's, it's like the zombie apocalypse when I go, I said, oh, there's a bakery. Tasty bakeries aren't the only reason to come down to this part of Querétaro. There's also lots of cafes. I've been coming down here a long time, actually. I've done shopping at the secondhand store, Tesoros, and I get my hair done right across the street at a place called Nancy Rizzo. Plus, this neighborhood is home to one of my absolute favorite lunch slash brunch spots, Cafe Olinka. Sweating from our little ride down here. It's a warm one. Is it a warm one or is it just because I was riding the bike? Excited for a tasty lunch? Always. I have got the torta de milanesa, so it's a 
little breaded filet and it's on a sandwich with avocado, tomatoes, a little side salad to go with it. And oh, you've got to see what Taylor ordered because now I'm wondering if, if I should have maybe gotten that. I got the chilaquiles. Some of the best chilaquiles I've ever eaten since moving to Mexico. But honestly, both good options for lunch. When I was eating the first half of it, Taylor said, you know what that reminds me of? The tenderloin sandwiches that Indianapolis is famous for. So fun fact, before Taylor and I moved to Spain, we actually lived in Indianapolis for a year. Taylor was a manager at a grocery store there, and I worked in the lingerie department at a department store. So, good times. What did you order? I don't know. What have I gotten myself into? Toodles! Oh my gosh, they smell delicious. Fancy churros. Fancy churros. After a lunch like that, the best way to work off your churros is with a little bike ride around the city. I love the Ciclovia, which borders this little cluster of neighborhoods. If you don't have your own bike, you can rent a city bike. And the roads down here are really smooth, which makes for nice riding. Just make sure that you watch out for topes, speed bumps. You do not want to be caught off guard by one of those. I am here at Celtics, <laughs> one of the many Irish pubs in Querétaro with my friends Adam and Alexis. I thought that tonight we would just come out and I really wanted to ask them about their experiences living here in Jardines. Uh, I've lived in this neighborhood for four years now, um, since 2017. And I moved here because it, well, I find it like, very safe, very quiet compared to Centro because originally I wanted to live in Centro but it does get noisy at times with fireworks and with the parties that go on. This is a very residential neighborhood. I like to walk a lot and it's like 12 minutes walk to Centro, a few minutes walk to uh, like the, the park in Caracas or along Universidad, this strip along Arcos which has lots of bars, restaurants, cafes, but the entire zone is like full of cafes now, cafes, bakeries, good restaurants, uh, so it's a nice place to be in the city, not in Centro but very close to Centro. And the really thing about this uh, this neighborhood for this uh, you can go out of the city it's really close from the from, from the principal uh, boulevards like Arcos, Bernardina, and then you can take uh, the the exit to Mexico City or to Celaya, San Miguel. So it's really really close from the principal, the principal streets. today's video helpful if you enjoy seeing these neighborhood tours around Querétaro then be sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really helps to support my channel. I'm Alex from BackpackingBrunette.com
Thanks for watching.